Hello and welcome to a CSCOT video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to show you the renewed process of the store import. Yeah, there were some changes in the store import uh, comparing to the old versions. So let's begin and uh, I'll describe the changes. First, there are a few things that you need to do before starting your store import process. First, you need to log in into your control panel of your hosting and proceed to file manager. Create the additional folder for your new store. For example, you have um, the store version 3.0.6 and you would like to import your data from this old store to the newest version 4.3.8. Alright? For this, you need to go to the root folder of your old store and create a folder for your new store here. After that, you upload the archive with your new store and extract it, just like I'm going to do now. Good. Now, your new store has the same domain as your old store. The only difference is in this word. Let's move it to trash. Bin. Now new store is ready to go. Let's go back to the control panel. Open our old domain. And after that add the folder name to the address line. That's how you get an access to your new store. Ok, syscat is not installed. Let's install the newest version. Next. Alright, let's enter the database that you have already created for the old store. Uh, okay. This time it's a little bit different. Okay, advanced. Well, there is no need for that. Administration settings. Okay, new administrator email and uh, password. Main language. Install demo data. Okay, let it be so. Or maybe not. No. To make the import process clear, I'm not going to install the demo data to demonstrate to you the difference. Alright, let's install some languages, German, French for example, and that's gonna be enough. Install. Good. No, something went wrong. The specified database is not empty. Overwrite. I guess in that case I'll need to go to the control panel and create a new database. Okay, let's do this, why not? New database, database2, yeah, I'm going to be a very original. Okay, with the same user. Now let's use this data during the registration process. Okay, user1, password, the same, good, install. The installation process has started, for now I'm going to skip it and we'll be back, then it's over. We have installed our new store, you can check it here. Now let's get an access to the admin panel. For now I'm going to stick to trial mode. Nice. We are at the admin panel. We have set up everything we wanted. Now let's proceed straight to the admin. For this, we need to go to the CSCART marketplace. Welcome to CSCART marketplace, the place where you can buy and download free and payable add-ins. All right, let's find our free store import add-in. 
Previously, store import add-in was available as a default add-in in the syscard package. But now, because it was improved and it has grown in size, you need to download it from the marketplace. Okay, store import. As you can see, it's completely free. Choose the version you would like to import your data to. I installed the newest version 4.3.8. After that, enter your email. There you would like um, to get a letter with the link. Okay, and click the download button. Download link has been sent to your email. Let's go and check my mail. Here is the letter and here is the link. Okay, the admin has finished downloading and now we can install it. To install the admin, go to Addons, Manage Addons, click the plus button and choose the local source. Store input 2.0, open, upload and install. Remember that in order to upload and install store import add-in, you need a license. Now let's find the add-in in the list. Store import. After that you need to enter the license number for the add-in that was provided in the email. Save. Your changes have been saved. Good. And after that we can begin the input process. Addons, store input, store path, full path to the store installation directory. At this panel we enter the path to the old store. Not the URL address, but the path in the control panel. Ok, let's check it. Good. We we'll override ok warnings. Pay attention. Well, another advice is I recommend you to read them before beginning the import process. Here you can check the data, and panel URL, number of storefronts, database host, and uh, other database information. Well, store path, import from, everything is on the screen. So just click import data and you can begin. The import process might take a few minutes or several hours. It depends on how many data you have in your previous old store. So be ready to wait. In our case it won't take long, because we have little data in our old store. Done. As I have already said, it didn't take long. Now you can check the warnings, I'm not going to spend time on that, and uh, read the advices provided here on the page. The data from the old store was successfully imported. That's good. You are now free to leave the store, import tool and customize the settings and design of your store. First of all, do the following. Go to store section and set the correct storefront URL for each company. Go to languages and set the correct country value for each language. Please pay attention to the following. The quick menu was set to default. This one. So, there is no need for me to customize my store. For now, everything is okay. So I'll just proceed to actualizing data. Alright, last data input was made on the date and from which version of this card it was made. Okay, to actualize the data since the last input click actualize data. I guess everything is okay. By the way, for now your new store is not live. So it doesn't sell anything, 
but you can still while configuring your new store while making it up changing your design you can use the old store still bear it in mind now let's complete the store input process congratulations the store import is complete a little bit more information about additional steps that you should take in order to go live first you should overwrite your existing store folder with a new one you can just move your new store from the subfolder to the main folder or you can just delete the old data i mean like the old store from your file manager completely second you should set the correct values for the following variables you can do this via administration languages translations and set the correct storefront URL in the administration stores section. Well, let's check it. Administration stores. As you can see, here is the old URL address of your store. You just need to go to the settings of your store and enter the new data. Save and close. After that you can just click the URL and check if it works or not. Everything is fine and now you're ready to sell. Well, that's it. If you have any questions considering store import, you can ask them in the comment section below, on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching.